Hey, hey, hey. It's uh, July 2nd today, and uh, I just left the grocery store, and um, man, it is slam-packed. The lady said that she thinks it's because 4th of July is coming up. Everybody's kind of stocking up for, you know, the festivities, so, but I was thinking about it, and I quit smoking April 1st, so this is pretty much three months as of yesterday, so I wanted to do a quick little video, just let you guys know how I'm doing, and um, doing pretty good. It's been fine. I do think about cigarettes at least once a day, I'm not going to lie, but it's not that I want to smoke, it's that, excuse me, I want that I guess time to myself, you know, because I've got like a bunch of little kids running around all the time. So every once in a while, like I just, you know, and that's what I did. I used it as like a, an escape to just have a minute to myself, surf on my phone, but I don't actually miss like smoke and smoking and, you know, so I have a little bit of fond memories of it, just that time by myself. But as far as, you know, the actual cigarette smoking, no. I don't even think about it. And my mom smokes, <clears throat> excuse me. And, uh, you know, I go to her house. She's my best friend. She comes to my house. She's at my house today watching the kids so I can go to, uh, the grocery store. And, um, she smokes and it doesn't bother me, you know? So, uh, anyway, I'm doing really good. And, um, I hope you guys are doing really good. I, well, what was it that I wanted to tell you guys? Oh, I started taking a multivitamin. It's just a Flintstones vitamin, but I read that they're just as good, if not better than all the others. So I've been taking the Flintstone, Flintstones vitamin and I just started taking yesterday a vitamin, a calcium vitamin that has D3 and magnesium and zinc and all this stuff in it. It's Walmart brand and uh, it was like four or five dollars. So, <clears throat> um, but I swear that gives me energy like a cup of coffee would. And speaking of, let me take a second. My throat is dry. Um, so I looked up the benefits of calcium and it's kind of crazy. I highly recommend you guys looking it up because I never realized all the benefits of, of taking a calcium um, supplement. I mean, it's. For example, the supplement, what doesn't break down and absorb into your body as it goes through your system, like it helps pick up things so that you don't get uh, like colon cancer. Like it's crazy. So definitely look into that, add it to any regimen you're already doing. If you're not doing a regimen, you should, because it definitely helps uh, with, you know, energy and it could be a placebo, a placebo effect, but I really do feel like it's helping me just all around. You know, my nails are a little bit stronger and stuff. So, um, I think that's it. I mean, there's really nothing exciting been going on. I've just been getting stuff done around the house and I do need to do an update video because I did a video, I think it was last week about, um, how my, symptoms, how I felt like I didn't, real, my symptoms weren't like smoking related. It was more related to uh, like other things like drinking too much coffee or whatever, you know. And there was a gentleman who posted underneath a bunch of links to information um, because, you know, he feels like I may, what, how can I put it? Like I might misdirect people on their smoking journey, which I absolutely don't want to do. My whole goal in this is to help as many people as I can quit smoking. So, um, yeah, I need to look at those links and study up a bunch because really the only thing that I have is my own experience and then the book that I read, which is, um, you know, the easy way to quit smoking. And so a lot of the ways that I feel about quitting smoking is because of that book. So, um, but yeah, I like guess uh, the gentleman said that if I tell people the wrong information, then they might think it's okay to just smoke a cigarette that they'll easily be able to just quit again, which is not true. I do not believe that. I really do believe you don't pick up another cigarette. Like once you're done, be done. Don't, there's, 
it's a slippery slope. As soon as you smoke another cigarette, like it's going to open it up and you're going to have nicotine in your system and the whole thing's going to start all over again. So when you're done, be done and just be strong about it. And what I was saying was there are no, I experienced no actual symptoms. So the reason I say that is because I want people to know it is nothing to be afraid of to quit smoking. I was always afraid to quit smoking because of the nightmares or all these things that I always heard and uh, it just I didn't experience any of that so I, I don't know I don't know why I didn't experience it and I smoked for a very long time a pack or more a day so um, yeah my whole goal is to help as many people as I can quit smoking and everybody is different uh, no matter what you choose to do whether it is to just go cold turkey or by reading a book, or by a support group, gum, patch, whatever it is, Chantix, I mean, whatever you can do to quit, quit. And just think when you're having those symptoms, is it because you're, you're needing a cigarette, or is it because maybe you need sleep, or you might need these other things? I think it's a whole, a whole thing. It's not just um, battling cigarette cessation symptoms like it's actually other things that you haven't been able to deal with because you've been smoking I, I'll have to do a full video on that but I am going to read his links because he was nice enough to spend the time to put them on my comment section and um, I'm all about learning and I like I said my goal is to help as many people as I can quit smoking so I will definitely read up on what he has sent me and I'll do an update video on that I cannot guarantee when because, like I said, I have five kids. It's summertime and, uh, you know, I'm just, I got a lot going on. So, um, but yeah, when I get a chance, I will look at that. So, I want to thank him for putting those links in, being nice enough. I really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I'll look it up and do an update video later on. So, anyway, I've been rambling. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day and that you guys have a nice, safe, fun 4th of July. Talk to you later. Bye.